Select the ball and add a physics plugin. Make sure to disable it and go to the event sheet. Now to make the ball to fall enable the ball physic on click. Create a two variable to store the position of the direction you want the ball to shoot. Now set the angle of the ball to those variable. Apply a force of 500 to the ball, you can select whatever force you like. This will shoot the ball on click and on the direction of the click. To respawn the ball add a plugin that will destroy the ball outside layout. And recreate ball to its exact location. Now we want the ball to interact with circle and destroy it. Add physic behavior to the circle and make it immovable. The ball is now colliding with the circle but it is not bouncing, let's make it bounce. Check when the ball collides with circle destroy the circle and apply an impulse to the ball.
The bouncing is too much. Now bouncing look good. Now make the circle jump up every time the ball goes outside of the game. Block the ball from going outside of screen from the side. Now give the number to the circle by adding text object. Set the text object to fit perfectly inside the circle. Add pin behavior to a text object this help it to attach to the circle. Add the variable to store the count number. Every time the circle is created add 1 to the variable. Now the spawn the text object and set its text to a variable. Also don't forget to pin it to the circle. Make sure to set the origin of text object to the center. Now destroy the text object along with the circle.
Add an instance variable to the circle to check what number it has. Set it when the instance variable is zero, destroy the circle. Once the ball goes outside of the game, we want to make new circles to appear, we can do that by using create object and set its position to random. End the game when the circle reached to the top. Thanks for watching the tutorial, comment below if you are facing any problem and also which game tutorials you want, please subscribe to my channel, 